You can't be serious. <laughs> oh, I can, Lilacore. I'm gonna go do that final quest that's here, and you can't stop me. Welcome back, folks. Now let's play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, the Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, the last thing that we can do here is in this corner of town that I haven't yet explored. There's an NPC to speak to by the name of Virginia. Let's have a conversation. I'm a fine looking strumpet, ain't I? Please, ma'am, do you have any money to spare? I can't go back to the guild until I have something. Of course I can spare a coin. Why is it that you worry about returning home empty-handed? You seem like a good person, ma'am. I will tell you if you promise not to tell Kremi. Who is Kremi? Kremi is the source of my troubles, ma'am. Count yourself all the luckier if you don't know him. I wish I didn't. I should begin with my name. Ginia. I grew up in Brynlaw. My father was a tailor until he was killed. My mother is long dead. My lady, things have not always been like this. Brynlaw was once a pleasant town, though my memories may be influenced by happier times in my own life. At any point you can bail from this story, but we're not going to. Go on. Regardless, life was hard, but it had its pleasures. We lived on fish and our produce. The asylum offered employment to many of us. Then the pirates arrived, led by the despot Desharic. Desharic had lost a war with another pirate king. Forced to this island, his ships invaded the town. They took our homes. Desharic killed our mayor and dumped his body into the sea. We were forced out into the streets. We begged the asylum to offer us shelter, but the wizards within locked the doors against us. My father could take no more injustice. He tried to get back into our house and was executed for breaking the law of the pirates. Once they've stolen something, the owner has no claim on it. Desharic said we would have to pay for our father's crime. He gave us to Kremi, his lieutenant, as a reward for service. He put me to work as a courtesan for the drunken pirates. It's horrible, ma'am. He says that he'll kill my brother Aeson if I don't do it. We've met him already. He was the one that took some gold from us. Why have you not gathered your brother and run away from this man? There is no escape for Aeson and me. There is a smuggler who will take us, but we cannot afford to pay him. There is nowhere to run on this island. Where is this smuggler? I will pay for you and your brother's passage. I will also ensure that Kremi never bothers you again. If there's one thing that Terry hates, it's slavery. Kremi can be found near the inn. The smuggler's name is Callahan. We've spoken to him before. He will be near the docks. Thank you for your offer, but please be careful. Don't worry, I think we can handle this. Step one, we're gonna go visit Callahan and see if we can get these people out of here. Then we'll go talk to Kremi. There's Callahan. Hello, mate. What's the good word then? Callahan, I be. Scourge to be. Oh, hello, Terry. What can I do for you? Hello, Callahan. I'm here to speak to you about Ginny and Aeson. Aye, good kids. Sad tale. You be involved in this somehow? Tis the first I'll be hearing of it if you are. I want to help them escape the island. Can you offer them passage? Uh, that I can. For a hundred GP per head. If you can pay, I'll take them to Olgoth's Beard. The Rella will take care of them. That sounds fair. I'll pay for their passage. Then we be agreeing. Their passage is assured if you can get them away from that lout crammy. Send them to old Callahan when you've got things arranged. That we will! We gained 2,000 experience for that. Now it's time to talk to Kremi. I don't need the rest of the party for this part. Kremi doesn't look that fearsome. And this is when Kremi is revealed to be a 27th level wizard. And I perish. But he looks like he's just wearing leather armor, so I don't think Terry will have much of a problem. Need something stranger. I'm a busy man, friend. Why don't you go bother someone else? There's no need for that. I found the man I'm looking for. Why would you be looking for me? I don't even know you. But you do know Ginnier and Aeson, do you not? What's the meaning of this? Those leeches are my property. Stay away from them. I will not allow you to abuse those two any longer. You're messing with the wrong man, fool. Oh, am I now? Have at thee, sir. You wouldn't hurt a lady, would you? 
That's 21 damage, that's 17 damage, and that's you gone. And hey, you did drop something quite valuable. You dropped a scroll of flesh to stone, and Galvena's medallion. Let's have a look at that, shall we? This is one of the medallions worn by the employees of Galvena's Fest Hall. It is used for identification. We could have used this to get into the Fest Hall without causing a ruckus, but we've already done that quest, so it's not really that useful to us. Hey, guess what? We've already done what you asked of me. Hey, sexy. Do you want to take a look at me, Diddy? Is Kremi gone, ma'am? Can he hurt us no longer? He is dead, Jinnia. You and Aeson are free of his clutches. Then he is dead, but Desharek shall merely give us to someone else. You've done so much already, but could you arrange passage with Callahan for us? It has been done already. I suggest that you find your brother and go to see Callahan immediately. I do not know how to express my gratitude, Terry. You have saved us in every sense of the word. Thank you so much. I shall go tell Aeson. Farewell. And off she goes. And we gain a small amount of experience. With that done, there's nothing more for us to do here really, except head to Spellhold proper. And the way to get there is this way. You either go this way or up these stairs. We're gonna go up the stairs. And Terry has gotten stuck behind Dawn, which is probably good because that means that they'll all arrive at roughly the same time. Also, I need to get Edwin's stone skin active again. Let's do yes. that now. Here we go. We need you protected after all. You only have 62 hit points. You only have a few hit points less than uh, Vaconia and Hexat now that I look at it though. And there is a sailor who looks quite angry at something. That's right, you square off against that small plant. I'm sure you could take it on in a fight. The seas are sure rough this time of year. I hate fishes. Give me a bit of beef any day of the week. I like fish. Fish is tasty. Is that literally all you were there to say? Are you going to disappear in a moment? You might very well do so. Or you're now going to angrily stare at the top of that building. Are you going to fight the building? Good luck, you're probably going to lose. Over here is someone that we should recognize. It's time, everyone. Let's see what she has to say. An excellent day for whatever you're after. How goes your search, Terry? Have you found means to enter the building yet? I have a ward token that will unlock the gates. Then get going. I'll try to get a message to Aaron about what has happened. Perhaps we can get some help now that the way is clear. I hope so, though we probably won't need it. Hmm. Let's enter into Spellhold. If that's what you want. That place doesn't look inviting at all. In fact, I'd say that that is a super sinister and foreboding place, but we have to go in there for the plot. So let's work our way in and deal with the fact that some of our characters are stuck on the same square. In fact, most of our characters are stuck on the same square. You're free now. And next we'll work on freeing you and you. There we go, we're all fine now. Let's quickly get past this bridge so that that doesn't happen again. And here are our foes, lizard men. I'm pretty sure that Terry can take care of these all by herself. Yep, she can defeat them in two hits. And they don't drop very much gold, but they can drop scrolls, and these are some pretty impressive scrolls. We have a, uh, okay, protection from evil, not that impressive. Invisible stalker though, not bad, and true sight, also not bad. Not that we can learn any of them. Still need to actually learn this one. I'll do that later. I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. I'm We're busy exploring, that's for sure. Nothing here. Just a little bit of building. Now let's deal I'm, once I'm again before. with this, because it seems like uh, you two are... There we go. You two are stuck on that yeah. uh, space. This is happening quite a bit, and probably because there isn't much... Uh, room to explore around. Yeah. 
We'll move everyone up to here, a nice open location. And if memory serves, there is one more fight that can be had out here. And it's not an especially dangerous one for us. That's not leading anywhere, though we do see there's an area over there that we can examine at some point. Have you nothing else to do but bother me? Let's get you invisible I'm again. You want. And move My the good, front I line fighters it's forward. I, sound of yeah. right. It does indeed. A sensible tactic. No one here. Edwin, move you're not a front line fighter, but you can move forward if you want to. Yes, Let's move you back right. a bit here, and... There we go. You three up here. Oh, Come we're going to be taking something out, Lilacor. This air elemental. Not an especially you dangerous foe. Because we've taken care of it. There are a few barrels that we can look in. Nothing. One coin. And there's something down there that I can't get to. Not from here. I think we get an opportunity to go down there later. Also, you may be wondering if we're going to go into the door that opened in the cutscene. No, you can't actually go in there. You can go into this door, though. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's save before we do so, because, of course, something is likely going to go wrong. It's way too quiet for this not to be a trap. Let's go in. I trust you have good reason to be entering this place. It's Terry Coleman, isn't it? You may hear that voice and think, hmm, the coordinator sounds a lot like Irenicus. And that's because the coordinator pretty much is Irenicus. The game's not fooling anyone here, least of all Terry Coleman, who's immediately suspicious. You know my name? How? You made inquiries in town. I have agents and eyes. Security is quite important when dealing with an institution such as this. Which is the reason why I was able to walk right in through the front door, eh? There are lots of holes in your story here. I know why you have come. You have been observed since you arrived on the Isle. No doubt you are brimming with concern for your Imowin. We're certainly worried about her. We also want to find Irenicus and punch him in the face. You don't happen to be Irenicus, do you? She is in good health, and if you will permit me, I will direct you to her. This is not a prison, but an institution of healing and learning. Then why the overzealous security measures? We deal with dangerous subjects. Emma Wynne was brought here for her own safety, and it would not do for her to be endangered while here, would it? It is not as simple as that, though. It never is, is it? Still, I'm sure you will understand more once I have explained. It would seem what a place to house those that prove too powerful for their own good. Useful, from a certain perspective. Please, you have worked so hard to come here. Allow me to show you what I mean. I shall let you examine the facilities, and Emowyn, for yourself. Lead on, then, but I shall be wary of any treachery. This way, Terry Coleman. I will explain as we go. Loads of doors open, and the coordinator moves really, really quickly. But you don't need to worry about uh, losing track of him. This part of the game is very linear. And he stops when he wants to have a conversation. Like here. The residence for the magically deviant houses many people, all of whom can benefit from a structured environment. They can also be studied, such that what they are capable of is understood better. Take young Dili here. She was cast from her family for her talents. At a remarkably young age, she learned how to shape magical energy, allowing her to change her form as she wishes. Have you a new face today? I think you do. I can see the real one. Tomorrow, I will be you, okay? Take that as the first warning of, wait, there's something not right here. Beyond the warning of, hey, this person sounds a lot like a Renicus. Dilly knows what's going on here. Here she is safe, and others have learned something of what she does. It is invaluable information. Is it now? Let's move on to this cell. This is Juanev. He used to be the asylum coordinator before I took the post. Too much exposure to magical forces, I suspect. What? What do you want? 
Is this not enough? I want this hall cleaned. Don't you stare at me. His mind could not handle the energies that circulate this place. A bad reaction to a particular spell unhinged him quite dramatically. Is that a spell you happen to cast? Just asking, you know, no reason why I'd suspect that. At all. I had a partner once that had an unfortunate reaction to a particular sword. That don't make it an accident. No one foresaw it, but with study we can prevent it happening again. His career is over then. Corgan knows what's going on as well. He suspects just as much as we do. Can we have a conversation with you? Hello. You are new. Those your faces? Funny. <laughs> Maybe change them. What do you mean by change them? What's wrong with my face? Nothing. Don't you change your face? That's okay. I'll take it and change it for you. Don't worry. You can keep it too. Who are you today? Terry Coleman is my name. Terry Coleman? Okay. I'll be Terry Coleman tomorrow. I've seen you, so now I can take your face. Don't worry. You can keep it too. I'd like taking Puppy's face, but it scares him. He's not here, though. Nice having a conversation with you. Let's briefly talk to Wanev. What? What do you want? Stand up straight. I want that report by dawn. I want this hall cleaned. Don't you stare at me. There's definitely something wrong with him. <laughs> it's all right. Tired of working here. Wanted a holiday. Was thinking of retiring. Probably going to die. Time to move on under down. Down, down. Relax. I just wanted to ask you a few things. Shut up. No questions. Make an appointment. The coordinator speaks to no one. No one speaks the coordinator. Surrounded himself with weakness and he finally succumbed to it. Trust in a male to make such a mistake. We're not going to learn anything yes. from him. Let's move on. If you say so. This is Nalgia Skull. Once a great bard of some repute, though now he is little more than a child. His last research project was into the nature of the universe and what lies beyond the gods. Something apparently didn't like him looking. I'm not surprised about that. I used to have pretties piled high to the sky. Don't remember where they are, though. Mm, pretties. Is this male helpless now? What worth is he to the greater society if he is kept like this? dispose of him. Somehow he retains his spell casting abilities, however, and is incredibly dangerous if unsupervised. Is he now? Let's talk to him, shall we? We might learn a thing or two. Hello. Have you come to play? I like to imagine stories of far away, farther than you can see, or should. How do you come to be here? How do we come to be anywhere? I asked that once. Looked all the way beyond the stars. Pretty stars. Shouldn't look so far. It looks back. But now I don't care. I collect my pretties. Shiny things. Pretty. He's speaking of gems and such. I just know it. A pity you can't pry into the head of the madman. Perhaps we could learn a few things that we probably don't want to know about if we could. We really don't want to know what he saw. Trust me on that one. This is Afril, and she sees a bit too much as well. The experiments with planar travel have given her sight that extends beyond the world we know. Oh, that's a dangerous thing too. Unfortunately, she can also see the denizens of those other realms. They are quite numerous, apparently, and she is never truly alone. All around, all around, behind, above, all around. <gasps> she does not sleep much. What use are eyelids when you can see through the planes? She will be studied so that some good may come of her condition. And maybe you could cure her of the condition? No? You're not going to try, are you? What? What do you want? I see you! I see you all! What? What do you see? Everything, everyone, across the plains all the time. My eyes do not close when closed. And they are next to you, and me, and everyone. Always more and more creatures from everywhere at every time. Never alone, even when alone, you just cannot see. 
It is a weakness on her part. A superior mind could handle such a gift. Ha! A pity we do not have one here. <sighs> it's aggravations like this that will eventually cause me to fireball the entire party as they sleep. Yes, indeed. Everyone peaceful and quiet, and then boom! <laughs> What are you talking about, wizard? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just muttering to myself. As always. Okay, that was a fun interaction. I liked that if one. That's what you want. This is Tiax. Not too much is known about him. He was found raving on the side of some road. It's Tiax, everyone! You remember him? The replacement to Monteron in Baldur's Gate 1 that I looked forward to getting and then realized was a very disappointing character stat-wise? Tiax rules all. You are but grease for the wheels of his rule. Silence the squeaking of those that protest. He rules all. I don't think you do. Ah, uh, yes, Tiax. All the subtleties of a fireball in a teapot. Pity he's here. Let's move on, shall we? Obviously a danger, as you can see. Oh, yes. We're going to talk to you, Tiax. Maybe you remember us. He rules all, he does. You... Or you are but a left bunion of his wondrous idol. You be grateful for the chance. Tiax, is that you? I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been up to? Tiax rules all from this throne room. You are all servants of his majesty, even as you feign ignorance. I will treasure this moment, gnome. You are exactly where you belong. The heavens move because he waves his hand. The waters stir as he twiddles his toes. The wind blows as he passes. And on a wind, he can break them all. If you're so powerful, why don't you leave this place? <clears throat> well? Um. Hmm. Go on. Tiax takes no notice. Go and spread word of his mighty stature. Tiax rules all. Just ask him, and you shall see. I don't yeah. think they will what see. We're going to leave you to it, Tiax. Probably forever. An aged elven mage is this cell's occupant. Very powerful, though he is incapable of trusting a soul. Dredil is his name. Bad dog! Bad dog! Werewolves all! Back! Back with you! Obviously, he has had some sort of traumatic experience in the past. He cannot be allowed to roam with the power he possesses. Let's have a talk with him. Mm, not Hello. Case. You, do I know you? No, I don't know anyone. Back, bad dog, play dead. No more tests, no more questions, no more. Back, bad dog. You, the rank smell of Golodon the Unmanned, bastard. I'm not sure who you're referring to. Also, we can't open this door. There's only one more person to see. And lastly, the one you seek. She is quite well, considering the circumstances. So empty. Empty. What have you done to her? She looks like a mere shadow of herself. She does not seem willing to respond right now. Her consciousness comes and goes. It is fortunate you arrived when you did. Yes, it is. I'll be leaving with her right now. Oh, you misunderstand. It is fortunate for me that you arrived when you did. I'm quite through with her for the moment. It is you that I am after. And the obvious trap is sprung. I knew you would seek her, and so the path was difficult but not impossible. All designed to test your potential. A foolish plan. I am quite capable of countering any cowled wizard ambush. The cowled wizards no longer run the asylum. With Bodhi's aid, I was able to take control quite quickly. She is a fine sibling, if a touch predatory. I trust you remember my name now. That I do. You are Irenicus, and I owe you a great debt of pain. You are intent on revenge or justice or whatever. I care not. You can do nothing I do not wish. Your fate has been sealed since before you arrived. A simple addition to rations and meals by a master of herbs, Mr. Saman Havarian. I am prepared for an ambush. Attempting to fight will get you nowhere. You will find you are powerless. 
I have taken precautions that you will not be damaged. Rage would be wasted. There is no battle, no heroics, only sleep. Uh oh. Well, it would seem that my visitor has awakened. It is as I predicted. It all has been. Looks like your master scheme has worked, Aranicus, and we are in some serious trouble. Also, our party are there. Imprisoned, but fine. You really should have took their equipment, Aranicus. I fear I have had an advantage over you. I have planned your coming from the start. It could be no other way. A bit of treachery by salmon and a spell component goes into a soup or some other dish, undetectable and nothing more than a seasoning until my casting. But don't worry, you won't have to think about any of this or that. Your life ends today. What are you doing, Eranicus? What is all of this? That is not for you to know. Suffice to say that I regret what must occur. I know the rage you will feel once I am done. I seek the death of others for similar reasons. Don't worry, Emberwyn has already suffered what she must for my cause. She even survived, and this bodes well for you. You are stronger, more focused, and you are aware. Aware? Aware of what? Aware of what you are, child of Baal. You are aware, and she is not. That makes you more able to focus. You didn't know? Reveal time, everyone! Emmawyn is also a child of Baal. Are you suggesting that she is a child of Baal as well? That is just not possible. You must have suspected. Perhaps she felt no symptoms, but the taint was there. She is of similar age, and was apparently secluded as a child, just as you were. This Gorion of yours should have told you about yourselves early on. You might have learned not to fear what you are. Emmawyn is indeed a child of Baal. I suspect her innocent charm and humor suppressed the darkness. She showed no symptoms because there was no place for shadow in her spirit. I had to show her some very dark shadows indeed. It is unfortunate that it had to be done, but it was necessary to get what I needed. Now I must focus on you. I am strong. Strong enough to stop you. No, Terry Coleman, you are not. It is much more likely that you are about to die. Unfortunate, but unavoidable. Do you see the Shadow Thieves in the other chambers? They are the fruits of Bodhi's Guild War, and their death shall force the Divine Soul from you. And now we find out what Arenicus has been planning all this time. He wants our Divine Spirit. Don't be afraid, Terry. I suspect this will be mercifully quick. In Are you? Within. Find me within. You cannot fight alone. You cannot. Find me within. And when we come back, folks, we're in a strange dream world. And it looks a lot like Candlekeep, at least from here. What could Emmawyn be talking about? Just what is Arenicus doing? And can we stop it? We'll find out next time. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.